Hey guys, it's Marty Bielet for Cool Cleveland. I'm at Red with the chef himself, Jonathan Bennett. How are you today, Jonathan? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing restaurant. I mean, from what I saw, the dishes look great and it, it's amazing. Yeah, it's going really well. We've been open since November and, uh, you know, things have just kept up and up. And I tell you, downtown is just, it's more vibrant than it ever has been. Right, but we're really here talking about Cleveland Independence, this organization, this kind of movement, actually, of local chefs that are getting together to fight against these chains. Can you tell us about Cleveland Independence? Well, it was actually 10 years ago when my partner Brad Friedlander got together with Sergio Abramoff, and uh, they really said, you know what, we're getting so many more chain restaurants coming into the community. Let's find a way to band together as independents to really find a way to market who we are, what we are, and how we're part of the community, and really stay part of Cleveland, our money stays in Cleveland, our owners live in Cleveland, and we're what makes Cleveland, you know, who Cleveland is. And it's really becoming sort of a powerhouse. I mean, can you name some of the more of the founding members that are still active today in this organization? Absolutely. You know, there's Karen Small over at the Flying Fig. There's, you know, us over in Moxie and Red in Beechwood, Red here downtown. Um, actually, Rocco just, just joined up with us a, a couple of months ago, and, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to see all the, all the different faces that, that have made Cleveland who it is that are part of the organization. And I know a really fun event that you guys do is Restaurant Week. Not to be confused with Downtown Cleveland's Restaurant Week, but you guys have your own Cleveland Independence Restaurant Week, and it goes on from the 2nd of November for the first two weeks, correct? Yes, yeah, the first, food, first full two weeks in November. I think it starts on the 3rd of November. Um, and it's great. I mean, everybody from Sandusky all the way down to Akron, you know, we really have kind of encapsulated Northeast Ohio here. So, you know, it's it's two weeks long. So it's kind of a restaurant weeks, plural. But uh, it's a it's a fun event. Come out, it's, you know, it's somewhere in the three courses for thirty three dollar range. You know, everybody kind of does something different, but a great way to experience a lot of different restaurants for uh, for a little bit of money. And I think this is one of the reasons why the Cleveland restaurant scene is so hot. I mean, it's really popping up. Restaurants left and right. Can you speak to any of that? Oh, my goodness. I mean, here, here we are right close to East 4th, and we just had Butcher and the Brewer open up. We've got uh, Simon's going to be doing a new space there. You know, it, I bet you there's been a dozen restaurants that have opened up in the last year, and it's just amazing. It's amazing to see these chefs with their talent and the restaurant tours with their visions and stuff and executing it so well. I mean, and take that chains. Cool Cleveland loves talking about local restaurants, local shops, everything local. So if you're looking for a good time, try and experience real Cleveland food, make, sh make sure you check out Restaurant Week happening the first two weeks of November. Thank you so much, Jonathan. My pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, guys. I'm Marty Bailey for Cool Cleveland, and I'll see you online. Have a great one.